This is a basic introduction on how to create your own wiki. You'll notice we've gone to wikispaces.com and in order to get started for the first time you'll go to the get started section enter a username a password which must be six characters or more and an email address and then click get started you will receive a confirmation email from wikispaces.com to confirm that you have set up this wiki account after you confirm this you will be given a My Account page which you will be responsible for setting up. On the main dashboard you can add in favorite wikis that you would like to share with others. You'll have a section for your mail inbox. You'll have a monitoring section of anything that you're looking at and monitoring. A special news section and a community section where you can get involved in some discussions, possibly go to the help section at Wikispaces to understand more about that. There's also a place where you can read more on the Wikispaces blog. But as of right now, we're going to scroll back up to the top of the screen and you'll notice that there's a mail and a settings tab. Click on the settings tab. This will allow you to change any of your detail information that you set up when you were setting up this account. If everything looks good there and you don't want to change anything, then you can just leave it as it is. Now your profile is like many other websites and blogs and things that you get involved with. You can actually set up to download a picture and you would just simply click change. Once you hit browse, you'll see something like this come up on your screen. It will vary depending on what program you're using, but look for the pictures folder. Go there and we're just going to go to sample pictures to make it easy, but if you want to actually install a real photograph, then download a photograph to your computer, save it in your pictures file, and you'll be able to add it to your wiki page. Just double click whatever you would like to add, and then click upload. you'll see the upload has arrived you can choose the small or the large or you can crop your image if you would like to do that after you've uploaded your picture and you hit save you'll see it showing up on your profile section underneath the picture in your profile section you'll also be able to create a profile page letting everyone know a little bit about you so you'll click create a profile page now then you'll have the option of typing in any content that you would like to add here anything that you would like to tell about yourself you have the option of adding in some links some different files changing the font changing the setup of the information that's all available in this editor toolbar at the top below the profile section on the settings page is the actual settings section this is where you can change the basic settings of language that you want the information in the time zone where you're located results shown per page and many other features these can be changed as you would like at any time. If you make any changes, make sure you scroll down and hit save. And that will save any changes that you've made in this section. If I'd like to create new wikis now under my account, once I've got my settings updated, created my profile page, I'll go to create a new wiki now and double click. This is where I'll have the option of putting in a wiki name. Once you've entered a wiki name, then you have the option of making a public free page where everyone can view and edit your pages or a protected free page where everyone can view pages but only wiki members can edit them or you can set it as private for the first 30 days where only wiki members can view and edit the pages. At this point I believe I'm going to make it protected and free. And then the wiki type, since this is going to be for my students at school, 
I'm going to choose the K through 12 education. But you'll notice that if you prefer not to answer this question, that's okay too. Then click Create. This will take you to the Getting Started with your Wiki page. There are wonderful tutorials and helpful information at the site that will help you walk through the steps on exactly how to get your wiki pages started. If you'd rather just try to get started and not use the helpful hints right now, you can just click the X at the top here. You'll notice it fades into the help right here at your top of your screen. So if you desire to go back to that helpful information, just click Help and all those options will come up again. Notice under Getting Started, you'll have to click the Edit button to begin creating content on this page. There are many things that you'll be able to do with a wiki, things that you'll be able to constantly download and update, discussions that will be able to be had on your wiki. To make any changes to your wiki page, you'll click Edit and then go over here and maybe change something that you've typed in, add to it. If you would like to add maybe a particular video to your welcome page or your home page, you'll go to the widget and then go to audio or video depending on what it is you would like to upload. I'm going to go to video and then go to YouTube and you'll go to youtube.com. Once you get to YouTube, then you type into search whatever it is you're looking for. And I've searched for a multiplication video that I would like to include on my home page to kind of pique the interest of my students. I'll scroll down and click on embed to get the embed code. It automatically comes up highlighted. I'll click copy and then go back to my page, paste that into the box, and click Save. If I click Save at the top, I can double check to make sure that it, it has embedded correctly onto my page. Since I've embedded this video, I'd probably like to click Edit and maybe create a catchy title or phrase that's going to catch the attention of my students, like, check this out. Let me know what you think. And then maybe open it up for a discussion, then in my discussion mode. But I'll probably want to go up here, highlight this, and then go up here to color and style and change the text color to kind of grab the attention of the students. Probably I want to make it a heading since it's coming at the top of my page. Once I have created that heading, I'll click Save unless there's other changes I want to make at this time. Just make sure to remember to always click Save. There are many things that you can do with your wiki pages. This is just a brief introduction. There is no stopping you now. Once you get started, you can go ahead and create new pages by clicking over here on the left-hand side. Managing your wiki, you can click that, and you can change the background colors. You can invite people to your site, um, add different tags. There's many, many opportunities and ways that uh, wiki pages can be used in the classroom and in everyday life.